to talk a little bit more about stall barns beyond just the size of stalls themselves and aisleways. I'm going to talk about ventilation, which is probably one of the most overlooked things in designing a stall barn. First of all, if you have trusses in your stall barn, you are restricting ventilation in your building. Now you may look up there and think, well, those trusses have lots of open area in them between the cords and the webs. Those do restrict airflow. So your building's going to be better off for your horses and ventilation and horse health if you have a building that has done what's called pole and rafter. And the most common instance of that is to set columns on a 12 foot grid for length of the building and width of the building, generally ending up with 12 by 12 stalls on each side of a 12 foot wide aisleway. And then you can run rafters from the outside columns across the columns on each side of the aisleway to the peak of the roof, and then there's no truss cords to impede your airflow. Those interior columns on that 12 foot grid also end up with a solid point to build stalls off of because they are tied into the roof system. For airflow, you want to have overhangs along your eave sides that are enclosed soffit and vented so you have an air intake and you want to have a vented ridge so that you have a place for that warm moist air to exhaust. People really don't realize how much moisture animals put out, but horses exhale gallons of moisture in a day. Now, warm moist air needs a place to go. On that sim same subject, with that warm moist air going somewhere, make sure to provide for some sort of condensation control underneath the roof steel whether it's as simple as condon stop or drip stop, which is a fell-like product that is adhered to the roll formed steel during the process of manufacturing the roll forming itself, or a product like a reflective radiant barrier, closed cell spray foam insulation, anything that will keep warm moist air from rising and condensing on the underside of cooler steel.